most talked about virus of the past few months has most certainly been Ebola, especially in the 24-hour news cycle. But some in the medical field say this really is not the virus we should be focusing on. The Centers for Disease Control reports more than 603 cases of measles in 22 states, including eight in Massachusetts through the first 10 months of this year. And keep in mind, the CDC had declared the U.S. measles-free in 2000. Joining me now is Haider Vorich. He's a physician at Beth Israel Deacon Medical Center and the author of a recent op-ed in the Wall Street Journal titled, The Measles Outbreak Coming Near You. Welcome. That's frightening. I mean, I had the measles as a kid. I mean, they must not have had that vaccine at the time, MMRB, whatever it's called now. But what's happening? What's, what's your theory on this? So um, certainly the headline was not my choice, but I think uh, it does <laughs> definitely show that, uh, especially as the figures that you've shown, demonstrate that measles has certainly made a comeback in this year. And one of the great drivers of uh, this measles resurgence has been a drop off in the number of people getting mm -hmm. vaccinations. Now bear in mind that there are some people who uh, cannot get vac vaccines, and these are children who are very, very young, or people who are getting some sort of very strong chemotherapy, or who have some sort of yeah. de deficiency in their immune system. But increasingly, there's a large segment of our population in which parents are preventing their children from getting vaccinations. But this has been proved to be this, this assumption that it's somehow related to autism. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's been thoroughly debunked. Is this people who don't believe that? What, what is the reason behind that? So th the reasons are many and complex. Certainly there are some people who have quote unquote religious uh, objections yeah. to, va uh, to vaccines, but increasingly uh, people have quote unquote philosophical uh, objections to va uh, vaccinations. And this includes people who have doubts about the safety mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of the vaccine. And a lot of it, as you've mentioned, most of, in fact, the, the resounding evidence suggests that all the things that have been touted to be side effects of the vaccine, such as autism, have been completely debunked. Having said that, that information is not reaching a lot of parents, mm -hmm. and a lot of parents continue to be either misled or misinformed about what, are, what in fact are the adverse effects All of right. vaccines. Help people out here, because in Massachusetts, the rules are pretty strict about if you're going to enroll your kid in a public school, mm -hmm. unless you uh, have chemotherapy treatments or religious objections, and by the way, you have to have documentation of that, you got to vaccinate your kid to be to enroll. So Massachusetts actually has um, rates of exemptions that are pretty close to the national average. It's other states that are close by, such as Maine or Vermont, in which the numbers are actually mm -hmm. much, much higher. And again, Massachusetts has been a leader of in, in, the, in vaccination since its inception. In fact, uh, the first uh, uh, vaccine to smallpox was in fact developed in this region. And then uh, that was then presented to Isaac Newton mm -hmm. in, uh, in the UK. But having said that, um, how much, uh, how strict the uh, vaccine exemption policies are have a direct relationship relationship to how much vaccine sure. exemptions are going to be obtained. So Massachusetts, you have much more objective uh, evidence required to be able to exempt your child, mm -hmm. but other states have uh, mm -hmm. do not have such strict requirements, and then they end up having much higher mm -hmm. And that's rates. where it's spreading. Yeah. Exactly. And as you were saying to me earlier, the more people that have the vaccination, the, the, you know, the, the less you're, the, the, exponentially your chances of getting, you know, the disease. Precisely. So the concept of herd immunity is that if you have a large enough percent of the mm -hmm. population vaccinated, it breaks down the transmission of the disease. And uh, what that does is that because there's not enough people who are not vaccinated, an outbreak cannot happen. Yeah. So think about this, that a parent who, uh, who refuses or prevents their child from getting vaccination, the fact that their child doesn't get vaccinated is because of all the other parents parents who in fact are getting their, uh, mm -hmm. their yeah, children right. vaccinated. So, um, but when that the level of uh, the number of people who are um, objecting to vaccination increases, and for measles that's not a lot, that's just about 5% because it's such mm -hmm. a contagious disease, it can completely break down yeah. the beneficial yeah. effects yeah. of herd immunity. It's really, really scary. Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing us that information. Haider Varich, thanks so much for coming. Thank you Appreciate again. it.